Hey. And people don't even – why do you think – we talked about watching a game, Neil. We talked about a couple of weeks ago, and I told Jimmy, I said, I never, ever have to watch the ball. My eyes are skilled enough. The first thing I watch is the center exchange, that snap. Then I look at the offensive and defensive line come going? together. Yep. I want to see if they're moving this way, it's a running play. If they're backing up, they're pass blocking. But I'm seeing contact. And I can tell you whether the play is going to be successful or not successful. I sit there sometimes in, my, in the studio and I'm watching, nope, that running play is not going anywhere. Nope, that pass play is not going Nope, this is going to happen. You're, nope. ahead, you're ahead of the play. And I'm a, if I'm ahead of the play and I try to teach people, don't watch the ball. Watch it have a panoramic view of what's going on and you'll see all that craziness that's going on out there and you only have eight people out there trying to watch all of these four, 22 people running around hitting each being crazy right. and you're asking these guys line judge back judge field judge referee okay you have to control this and i always say it's not what they call it's what they miss jimmy what they don't right. call yeah or no, what they don't the call. Ball stuff or sure. they'll see something no i'm not calling that what do you mean you're not calling that he just got killed and they, over and there. They, and they're actually throwing more flags this year than yep. they have e ever. You know? Yeah, but that's slowing down too now. But, I, you know, I think it, it's a tough – first of all, I totally support the players 100%. The, the fact that they have non-guaranteed contracts mm. is the biggest oh, crime crazy. Crazy. in professional it's entertainment. It's a total embarrassment. I mean, ridiculous. I mean, that's crazy. And – it was. It had to be Gene Upshaw who bargained that baby away. I'm going out on a limb thinking that. No, not necessarily. Then who did it? Not necessarily. Then who who sat no. at the table on the he other side? He was there for okay, a lot we'll of go. years. Okay, we'll go. Because I think didn't they years. give a, They yeah. gave up free. They wanted free agency. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they gave up the right to a guaranteed contract for free agency. No, I'm pretty sure it was similar. Uh, that it, was it, the it, year. It may have been similar to that, but but the whole issue, the whole issue of guaranteed contracts, I tell people, this is the one league that definitely needs guaranteed oh, contracts. Oh, totally. I'm Absolutely. talking about 100%. At least, at least, Neil, to the rest of the year. If you get knocked out in the second game of the year, you got to get paid for the whole year. Okay, we'll pay that. We'll pay that. But when you sign a four-year deal, a classic example, Carson Palmer, yep. Friday, signed right. a three-year three -year extension. Deal, yeah. right. Yesterday, blows out his knee. Now, you can believe if he can't come back to where they want him to, come on in. Right, let's sit oh, down. Yeah, we need to talk about how restructuring we're gonna, your contract. How we're going to restructure this and pay you off because you can't walk anymore. Because remember, it's the second ACL deal since 2006. And you blow out one, it's bad enough in your life, Jimmy. You blow out a second ACL, same knee. Yep. You, you're talking about Look at irreparable the kid Lattimore. damage. Was it Lattimore out of uh, LSU? Oh, no, 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 no. South Carolina you're talking about. The South running back. Yeah. Yes. Done. Yes. He finally Done. admitted he can't come back. Four knee operations. Yeah, and by the way, Let's get into the NCAA because they're basically the minor league system, the developmental league. And it's funny that this didn't talk at all Not about. He needs some water. Yeah. Um, yeah. He, he, this didn't even talk about the regular effects of the hitting that goes on in college practices. Yeah. Because that's what they're talking about. Is it's well, it's, the tried to it's not Jimmy. the big blow. No, 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 it's no, the accumulation no. Yes. of them. But, Jimmy, they've tried to channel that because your practice yes. sessions in college but now they, are cut down. Right, but you they still leave practice. it up to each school. Oh, yeah. But no, 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 no. You have a certain amount of hours you can practice. You no, no, no. I know. But, but what they you go do over. with that practice. They go over. It's what you they do go. with that practice. And do you have contact? Right. How many days if it's... Right. Okay, if you're at Alabama... And it's Monday. How many days up to Saturday are you going to have contact? Two, three, and you're talking about live contact. You can't go half speed. That's right. You have to have live contact, and that's when guys get banged up. Then I got to be ready by Saturday, Neil. Like, how are you feeling, Neil? My back's bothering me. Whatever. Here, take, 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 here, take a pill. Here. No, here. no, no. You're how about a shot? For the rest of the week. Yeah. You're the practice for the rest of the week. And if it's bad enough, we give you a shot. And then you're going out there. And remember, too, the cumulative effect of drugs is as follows. And I've talked to a lot of players about this. Guys like Brett Favre over the years, remember when he had a Vicodin whole thing, his addiction, and I felt so bad for him. But when I talked to Brett, I said, Brett, is it worth all of that to play? And the players have such a love to play, they will do all kinds of just crazy to, just things to just to play. I said, man, think about this. Let's try to look at the back end of your life. He didn't want to think about that. He played till was 40, thank God. But I said, Brett, this is crazy. Now you have a Vicodin addiction, and that stuff is powerful, Jimmy. That stuff, that's stuff they give you coming out of operating room. When you I actually it. like Percocet. Uh, yeah, well, I Percocet, Percocet, whatever. To, uh, but I'm saying you can Sorry. get, you can get addicted here? to that stuff. And remember, for <laughs> years, remember, he had that addiction for three yeah, years before it's they a horrible even thing. caught it. So he plays the game. 
He comes out of the game. He goes home. Now he's got to wind down. Now you got to take a downer to get you down from where you That's were. That's right. Yeah. Then you, the next morning, you got you have to get up. You have to go in or the, all right, let's say Monday. Monday you got film. Then Tuesday you're back in practice again. You have to go up again. You got to keep injecting your or take keep taking these horse tablets of this stuff. And I'm just amazed. Like I told you about the aberrant behavior. I'm amazed that some of these guys just don't go off and just kill people. Uh, they've come close. They kill themselves. They've come close, but they're killing and themselves. They're and now they're shooting themselves in the chest uh, to yeah. preserve their brains, which is just a, the whole thing was fascinating to me. Um, and the cover-up of the league, which they should certainly be ashamed of themselves. I think, it's, I think it's. I don't think they are. No, because it's like any business. We're going to cover up whatever right. we can to continue to make our profits, and then eventually we'll probably uh, have to give up more of our of the pie right. to the players. And, you know, and and they will do what major corporations across this country have done for the longest time. They will try to buy political power. They go to Washington. They have lobbyists. They sit they down with the lobbyists. Woman, by the way, to be their lobbyists. I got it. But I'm saying they're paying their way through this, Neil. And I'm saying eventually what happens is it becomes cost prohibitive because somebody's going to sue the league and have all the evidence they need, and they'll bring three or four other people in. And you'll like settle, it, you'll settle it because it's cheaper to settle it you out got of it. court. And that, that's the only way. Could you ask me about change? That's the only way you're going to get change, Neil Portnoy. You're never going to get change if you're asking these rich people that are owners, if you're asking them to do the right, try doing the right thing. If you care, if you tell me, oh, I really love my players and I really care about them. Gee, I bought them Super Bowl rings. Okay, but what about the health care issues? And what about the health care of the league? When we talk about all the injury factors and all the money that the owners have to pay out for injuries and, 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 and medical attention and so forth, it would be lovely if, if oh, Neil, if, you. like you said, if, if, you didn't, if, if you didn't have to have drugs to play. But, ladies and gentlemen, I am more than aware that you could not play this game without drugs being involved. You just can't do it. Now my question is, what is the cumulative effect of 16 games? Neil, we got, we're eight, wait, we're eight in, Neil. We got eight more to go before we even get to the playoffs. Never mind the preseason games. Thank you. Oh, those are a joke. Move your microphone up about six inches. Okay. Sorry. How do you deal with those lights? What lights? I love them. Killing me. That bother me. I feel warm. What are you looking Sorry. at them for? I'm not. It's just He just feels it. Oh, I don't, who, I don't feel that. Who eight million layers? I'd rather be in Vegas, pal. You know, this I'm not used oh, to. This. You better get used to this, because Vegas is gonna be hot out there. Yeah, some but days. I'm not gonna wear clothes. I'm... <laughs> You're not gonna wear clothes? It's a family show. You can't say that. No, not here. Well, you have to wear clothes. They're gonna call it Portnography. <laughs> See, I know all okay. this line, so okay. I can't I like even that. laugh anymore. I like, as long as like you're that. laughing, I'm I like happy. that one. That was good. But you know, I just, you know, there, there, there is a fascination to the sport. There is an appreciation of the skill level of the sport, but the damage level is just too great. Jimmy, you me. can break it down simply the way I break I break it down as a as a coach. Ability you're born with. Mm -hmm. That could be artistic ability, that could be yep. athletic ability, that yep. could be singing music musical ability. Right. You learn technique. And the proper technique, and, and I, I agree all of our opinion, isn't being taught. No. You enhance that technique with practice. Well, I think that's one of the practice. reasons why, at the end, and you talked about it, Jimmy. They've already instituted a heads-up program a for idea. youth football. They've in, they've uh, encouraged. They got women involved with this. They got the mom bloggers out. I mean, the NFL is trying really hard to spin this story to look good. Right. Well, of course they are. No, they're trying to make they're trying sure. To. They're trying to make sure they can keep their feeder program Absolutely. in check. Absolutely. It, it, believe me, mothers, they don't really care they, that you know much what? about you. They want right. your kids to keep for playing. They know, want your young people to keep playing. For, for all we problem. know, it could be the legal advice coming from their high-powered attorneys. Could saying, be. Listen, I'm this sure is what you it. need to do. Yep. You know, you, you watch TV shows like Madam Secretary, mm -hmm. which I love that show. Yep. I watch and, Homeland. And they say, you know, they, they have publicists. Yep. They have writers that tell these department heads yep. what they need to do so that when it gets out in the public, we look good. But here's the best part. Here's the best part of that scenario. If the owners really cared, 
they would have been a heads up program long ago. I agree. Somebody right. had to tell them, like you just said. No, they had to look, force them. We have to for look. We're, we're, we're getting we're getting lambasted here. So they're they're killing us with this bad publicity. We have to do this 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 and this. And I'm saying, if you're an owner, you're not prescient enough to realize the injury. Every morning, every Monday morning, I'm the owner. I'm getting a list of. Okay, all these people can't play, or these people are hurt, and these people have to do this. Okay, what are we going to do about this? How do we get to a point where we can try to cut down some of these injuries, do this? Now, finally, you're going to go all the way down to Pop Warner and say, okay, let's teach the game a better way. Well, you know, case in point, they were talking on, on radio on my ride in today. What do they do about the Adrian Peterson situation? Oh, okay. we could get into that and, now. No, but I'm going to make a little analogy there. They oh. said, well, you know... Uh, as far as getting out in the public eye, what we should do is possibly suspend him for, you know, let's let it die down for three weeks, then we can suspend him for two day, two games, and then we're at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Or do we bring him back now, take a hit on it publicly? What's the public going to think? You know, they're, they're looking at every, what's the best route for us to go in this situation? And they Does, still know that the Ray Rice situation is hanging over their head. Absolutely. That's right. Because there's going to be a decision on that. So, okay, so let's take, we, okay, let's stay with Peterson. He paid his, he made his, he's made his deal. Right. Now, all of a sudden, the Minnesota Vikings go to the Players Association and, Players Association and say, we need some pressure put there because we want to get this guy back. We really don't give a damn about him. But we give a damn about the fact he can get us 100 yards a game and we can be playing. And, and Minnesota, we're not that bad. We, he could get us to the playoffs. Right. And all the players are going, yeah, he can get us to the playoffs. Extra money, extra checks for all of us. Hey, get Adrian back here. Adrian's already paid his debt. He's done what he's supposed to do. Whereas, it still boils down to the same thing. He made a plea deal. That's the court of law. Now he has to go before the court of Public the commissioner. Opinion. No, the commissioner. The, commissioner the dreaded court of the commissioner. So now he's got to go before uh, Goodell, who's still under fire himself in the middle of all this for what oh, yeah. he's covered, possibly covered up or lied about. Uh, sorry, got to say it the way it is. Oh, he did. And, and I'm just saying that as I look at this, and I'm glad you brought up Adrian Peterson because here was a guy that found himself in a political firestorm. Yep. He disciplined his and, child. And okay. Not, and not thinking he did anything wrong. No, no, he did something wrong. No, no, he, he didn't he, think he, he, he was, was he doing think he anything wrong. wrong. Okay, well, yeah, no, he didn't think he was doing anything wrong. But okay, but now he's been enlightened. So how far does the punish like this is what the NFL Players Association is asking. When does the punishment become so punitive that it doesn't work? It's telling all the other NFL players, okay, look. Somebody's gonna have to sue the NFL to get us some to, to, to get some type of leverage here. They want leverage. It's all on about this leverage. Situation. It's all about leverage. They want leverage to be Life. able to get him back. Because the problem is this. We talked about this last week, Neil. I told Jimmy, I said, what happens if after this hearing with Ray Rice, they decide, or an arbiter decides, Ray Rice was wrong. He served his two-game suspension. You shouldn't have kicked him Double out. Double jeopardy. Double jeopardy. Now, you have to turn around. And Jimmy said, well, he wouldn't go back to Baltimore. What if, what if the arbiter says, oh, yeah, they're going to, he's going, we're putting him back there, and they got to pay his salary because he was wrong, right? Okay. Now, what he did was wrong, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not defending it in any kind of way. But he had already been punished. Then the double jeopardy factor comes in. Now he stands a chance, even with his despicable behavior, to be back on that football field. So if he's back on the football field, how are you going to keep Adrian Peterson off and, the football and if, field? Wait, double jeopardy has to do with the law. Yep. This is the law of Goodell and the NFL. There isn't double jeopardy in play here. There is. This is still his fiefdom that he rules over. Is what? Fiefdom. F I E F D O M. Is that a real word? Yeah. Yeah, it's a real, real word. Fiefdom. Yeah, like Wait, do we get our SAT like guys kingdom. in there? They still here? It's oh, like no. His little, it's like Tom Adelaide. You it's studying for the SATs? No. Fiefdom. Okay. Fiefdom. Fiefdom. It's fine. It's right, Jimmy. Jimmy I know it's right. it's right. Don't worry. I know it's but right. I'm, I'm just saying, trying to help him out. But what I'm saying, <laughs> what, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is that because of the rules that are in place, Yep. Through the collective bargaining agreement. Right. And after all this mess, Neil, they, remember, the Dell came out with some new rules regarding domestic violence and so right. forth. Okay, I'll give you another example. Let's step one step further. Today, Ray McDonald's case was dropped. Dropped due to lack of, of evidence. evidence. Here's a man that is reported by the police 
to be to have beaten up his pregnant fiance, and he's going to be back on the field. Now, Alden Smith, another chowderhead, comes back this week. This guy goes into an airport and makes a threat about having a bomb. After 9-11, are you kidding me? There's no way Alden Smith should see the field for the rest of this year. And there's no way that Ray McDonald should see, the, the, see of, the field. Where's the code of, where's the code of conduct? Well, this is what he's trying to develop. He's trying to develop this too new late, code of conduct. Too well, late. I think it's too late for the cases you mentioned. But it's let's face it, guys. There's going to be more of this. Of there's going there to be more of this. Of course there is. There already is more There of is this. more of it. This it just hasn't been reported yet. Right. Come out yet. That's I right. Mean, and I remember, all of a sudden, this isn't just a bunch of, and I got I to put this point in there because I've heard a lot of people tell me this. this. No, no, no. I've heard a lot we of people tell me this. Well, there's a bunch <laughs> of out-of-control black guys. No, 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 no. A lot of crazy white guys out there, too. Sorry. Yes, there are. There's just a bunch of crazy guys out it's there. It's just crazy people. Doing crazy, people. doing crazy, no, no, dangerous no, 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 no. things. Dangerous things. Yes. And I'm saying... These, these poor women that, that love these guys, take care of them, and so forth, and, and you got to deal with all, yeah, you got to deal with all this foolishness, and I'm going, hey, hey, we better, get, we better get some bearing on this, like you said, Jimmy. We better get some bearing on this, because you just said it best. This isn't going to stop. It's only going to get worse. Right. And eventually, what's going to happen, i.e., oh boy, here I got to say it, say it, Ray Lewis, yep. i.e., you're going to get some people killed again. And then everybody, the U.N. cry is going to go up. They got to do something about these crazy-ass players running around killing people and so forth. Well, hate to tell you, until you're talking about taking this game away from someone, Neil, taking their livelihood away and saying, okay, no more. You can't do this. We have to stop you now. They're is never going to wake up. Are there any policies on steroids in the NFL? Yeah, they claim yeah. there is. And we laughed about that a couple That's of weeks right. ago. You're yeah. going to love this, Neil. I said the drug policy in this league is a joke. An absolute positive joke. You, if if we drug tested every offensive lineman in this and defensive lineman in this league right now, you wouldn't have any 50, offensive and defensive linemen. Fifty to seventy percent of them would flunk the steroid test. So who the hell's testing? I, I think you're what being low in your on? numbers. I'm I think much higher. Than probably that. higher, but I'm, I'm gonna give them the benefit. I'm gonna give them seventy percent. So you got these jacked up steroid raged guys out there on the field banging into each other. Then they got to go home and act like civilized human beings, which they're coming down from their roid rage. And the league's trying to tell me there are no steroids in the league. Are you crazy? Are you absolutely? Should be, should be mandatory testing. After every game. Every game. What, what That's after, how they do the Olympics, randomly, by the way. We will randomly pick, particularly the offensive and defensive line, because they're the biggest people. We're picking... Okay, four defensive linemen, five offensive linemen. Out of those nine, we're but, testing five. But hang on you know a second, what, yo, guys. Hang on a second. I want, no, I want, no, no, I want no, to bring no, this no. point up. No, 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 no. Going back into the, the 50s and the 60s mm -hmm. in the NFL, okay. yeah. guys that were six foot one, 230 pounds were, big. were the big linemen. Yep. Right. right. Yes, they were. Okay. At 100 pounds at, now. Right. At, at 100 pounds of muscle, muscle. never mind weight. You got it. Mass. And, and it's give, mass. And give yep. steroids. Mass. And, and add not the, the state. speed element. And listen, as a baseball player, during my year, it was black beauties. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, we were doing the black beauties. Everybody yep. did it. You know, you had to be up for the game. Hey, yep. coach, up for the game. And greenies. All week, you know, and greenies. greenies. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then it became steroids. Yep. And look, Jose Canseco, you know, oh, please. You're right. opened up the whole opened can. The can. So true. He opened a can and, on it. Yes, he did. In my opinion, for a good reason. Yes. You know what? What's going to happen when you're Another book days you people are should done. read. That's a great book. It's a great book. That's a great book. Great book. I mean, forget Alex Rodriguez. And, and you this can be in the fourth grade. This guy is 15, 20 years ahead of Alex Rodriguez, but and he knew. You can, it's a fourth of being grade ahead, reading level. Don't be naive. The chemists are always ahead. They're always ahead. Agreed. Of the test. But it doesn't mean you stop testing, Jimmy. I'm not saying well, that. I'm not saying that. The number one test testing or. agency in the world is the Olympic agency. Right. Yes. Right. And they can only test, what, 15%? Have you seen? You got it. Have you seen? I'm not sure. Do you get HBO? Yes. You, okay. Uh -huh. you, I, I can't afford it. Okay. <laughs> He Lance, just there's HBO. a documentary. Trust me, he can afford about it. About Lance Armstrong. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I saw it. Who is one of the biggest jerks that has ever walked the I don't face call of our place. Cheryl just... Crow agrees, but go ahead. No, no, no. Why, why don't you agree with that? No, we got, because... He because... ruined people's lives. Excuse me. He is a criminal. Okay, Forget criminal. him being a jerk. He's a criminal. Oh, he's a jerk what criminal. Well, you can call him whatever you want. I don't, I don't have to call those names. Be nasty I'll, to... I'll break, to... I'll break him down the way he needs to be broken down. He fooled... 
an entire generation world. of people oh, in gosh. this world. World. Thinking that because I want him back on TV. Because 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 thank you. So so somebody out there is listening to you, Neil. One day I, one day they'll be me. smart. What are you looking at me there. for? One, one day they'll be smart enough to get there. But that's all right. I love you too for this reason. I put him on. Because, I just don't because, love watching because, him on TV. Be, be, because And he hasn't aged at all. Because yeah. Because when you break down the important elements of that story, when I was watching it, it all blew up when the million dollar challenge came down the line. He wins the million dollars, right? right. <laughs> and the second place finisher says, he walks into my trailer with a briefcase. Thank you very much for finishing second. I opened it up, there's a hundred thousand dollars in there. I said, you didn't win, but don't worry. You didn't lose either. Trust me, you didn't lose tax-free cash. Here, you don't even have to claim this with your government. Just put it in your pocket and keep walking. These are the stories that I, I laugh because I love my business and I love what I do. I love being an investigative reporter. I love being able to break down these things. And I pray that one day, Jimmy, somebody will sit back and look at this stuff on YouTube and say, you know, these guys were way ahead of the curve. I don't care about these ESPN people or, or Fox or whatever. They don't know what I know. And I'm not patting myself on the back because I don't have to because I'm going to talk to the principals. I'm going to find out all your dirt, and I'm going to say it right here. Jimmy, because that's why the NFL best... doesn't want me to be doing their games. They're going to be saying, oh, something's wrong down there. Go ahead. One of my mm -hmm. best lines as a coach, mm -hmm. every year we'd get the freshmen in. And I'd come in in uniform, my, my Oakleys, it looked real tough. And I'd put them up in the stands, and I'd look at all of them, and I look scary. And I'd say, you know what? If God wanted us to talk more, mm. he would have given us two mouths in one ear. Do I have everybody's attention? <laughs> and you know what? He'd have given us you two have mouths to listen. in one ear. You have to listen. <laughs> the only way you're going to learn is to listen. Well, please listen to what I'm saying, because I know what I'm talking about. Jimmy, if you're talking about Lance Armstrong, I, like I said, I don't look at Lance Armstrong as being as much a jerk as I look at him as being a mean-spirited criminal. I mean, he destroyed lives. Right. He, he made people so afraid of him, of what he could do because he was running the sport. Bicycling, cycling didn't do anything to him, so he could say, look, see those guys? I want those guys kicked out. They said, okay, Lance, we'll do that. You want to see this team, too? We're going to kick that team out, too. So by the time he wins the seven in a row, now believe me, ladies and gentlemen, I've been to France, and those people over there hated him. They hated him after he won the first one. Forget that six more He after. is American. They hate, listen, no, for one reason. You're wrong for one reason. Because they didn't hate Greg LeMond the same way, and Greg LeMond won three before Lance even got to the scene. They didn't hate him what because he, he didn't And what Lance like did jerk. to Greg LeMond but he, he was mean, he yeah, he destroyed, horrible. Destroyed him. But what I'm saying is that all of this stuff comes back somewhere, Jimmy. Now it's all back. And, of course, when it was finally exposed, he goes on Oprah. Oprah, Oprah, it wasn't me. Somebody spiked my stuff. It wasn't me, Oprah. And Oprah's there. Sorry, you're not Oprah. But... You, you understand what Did I'm you saying? ever play her on TV? Yeah. He can play anybody. Yeah, he, I bet you could draw her. No, I, I bet you. I knew that was but, I thought, but I bet you you could draw her, though, if you had to, easily. But what I'm saying, he tells Oprah, Oprah, I'm looking you straight in the eye, and I'm telling you I have never, ever, 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 and then you do the Chris Rock, ever, 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 ever. I have never, ever cheated in my life. Then he's got to come back on Oprah and say, Oprah, it was only one time. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't inhale. And, then, and I did not. I did not inhale those drugs. And I played first base for the Baltimore Orioles. <laughs> and all I'm saying is that oh gosh, he's the stuff that he did, and then finally the vindication for the cyclist's wife, uh, Hickapy. Hinkley, his wife, when she finally Cheryl said... Cheryl Crow? No, 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 Hinkley's wife. Oh, 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 oh When oh, the story oh. got blown out, yeah. and, and I'm sitting there saying, listen, finally, let's see what they do. So they said, okay, that's it, Lance. All seven of your medals, they're stripped. We're putting them, we're, we're, we're giving them away. It never so happened. We vacated, wait a minute. So we vacated the seven titles, Neil. So I'm going to myself, do you honestly think... That when history is final, is, is right. continues to be written. UMass that didn't make it to the final four. Not either. going to say, yeah, there was this guy Lance Armstrong. He won seven of them, and they don't care about. Yeah, they took the asterisk out. Everything's gone. Yeah, yeah, but they but but they don't care about Bernard. He know, 
yep. who won four or five of them. Great cyclists, right? And I'm looking. You don't at think all Bernard? You know. Did, did no, drive? A, hold on. on that's that's note, where I'm is, going. Is Cheryl that's Crow where I'm John going. Mayer. Now we're. <laughs> that's where I'm going. I'm saying. This is one of the dirtiest sports on Absolutely. the planet Earth. Absolutely. It's never been clean. Never. So now if you want to go after Lance, let's start going back into history and start looking at some of these drug tests or let's go back and check some of that old urine. Let's see if, if Hincopy, I mean, let, let's go see if Hino and all of these guys did it too. Well, they could hire the uh, public relations team from the NFL and, and Roger Goodell <laughs> and they could find a way to right. cheap it up, settle this whole hey, thing out of court. But, but, yeah, but, but, sure. but, but Jimmy, it still goes back to what you said earlier, and I like that point. I don't care how far the medical field thinks yeah. that they can track this. The chemists are always ahead. There are people over in Europe right now, in Sweden, Norway, Germany, other great countries that are coming up with some new stuff as we're talking, and they're saying, how long, well, what's going to be the incubation period of us getting caught with this stuff? Right, Jimmy? Right. They're going to say, what's the incubation period of getting caught with this stuff? They're going to say, five years. Oh, no problem. We'll have at least one Olympic by that time. We'll have two World Games, and we can get whoever the next champion we want to get, take some of this stuff. They won't catch it for five years. I mean, the track and field, all of this stuff, and I'm saying... They're coming up with so many oh, different goodness. angles and You're ingredients to stay ahead of the drug testing with new chemicals, new cycles. There's, there's, listen, the Olympic Committee uh, for Drugs can't- Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Nobody can do it. Think about this. That's why Tom They'd Kelly wants steroids off. back in no, baseball. No, 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 because the drug, because the steroid business is so big. Jimmy, you're not talking about now. When you look back at the 60s, when I was growing up, and the Eastern Bloc of the Soviet Union was kicking our asses. I mean, they, the had, with women, hair. they yeah. had women with guns. I mean, both of my arms weren't as big as one of their arms. Now, many of those women are dead. Many of those people died. Many of those gold medal winners are in their graves. And they're still pumping this stuff out. It didn't stop anybody because, remember, okay, and then we'll spin up to the great George Bush with his statement, we're going to go after the drug war. And the first thing, we're going to go after uh, the steroid thing. When he made his speech, I said, you know why? because it is the only drug in the industry that is totally unchecked and unmarked. And it's too much profit, Neil Portnoy. They're not getting tax money off of this. If they could go to Europe and get some of that tax money on the billions of dollars, they'd be giving steroids to everybody. Listen, I'm all for Ten-year-old kids, you can have some steroids too, I'm, but you gotta pay taxes. I'm all for <laughs> medical, medical steroids. I mean, we're doing medical marijuana and yeah. everything, you know. Right, medical steroids. Medical, but medical steroids. believe me, steroids do have a, they, they, we, they, they, have they, they, it, they, we have yes. it in drugs, you know, they, right. you have a nasal, yep. you take it they, steroids. It, and, and, but, but, but Neil, that's medical, that's needed. I'm talking about what I'm saying, okay. So who decides Jimmy's what's running, medical and Jimmy's what's running not? running a 10 And I want to, this is what I'm saying, I'm going to decide it for you. Yeah. Jimmy's running a 10 I'm, I'm a 10 And I can't beat Jimmy at all. Oh. With a little help, I can. Let's do this. Now I'm 9 And Jimmy's still 10 and everybody's running around. To, man, in 88, when I saw the ben fastest Johnson. human being. Ben Johnson had wings. He was going so fast. <laughs> he was launched airborne. His feet weren't even touching the ground by the time he got to 70 meters. I said to myself, there's no way. Right. Ben Johnson was a middle of the pack runner. All of a sudden, he's gone. Love you, Flojo. Rest in peace. Flojo, middle of the pack runner. All of a sudden, boom. And when she died, what did her husband do? They immediately said, uh-uh-uh, you ain't touching her body. Right. Boom, we're getting her in the ground. Because we don't want anything to come up and destroy this three gold medal image of what's happening. So what I'm telling you is, no matter what we do now, it's part of it's like a part of our DNA. But we have it. We still have to try, Neil. We still got to try to go after and find some semblance. Now, my answer to it: find out who are the top steroid people in the world. There offer them there 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 good, perfect. Then we're going to offer them some serious money and say, we want you to tell us where the industry is right now. We're going to bring you in. We're going to, we're going to give you $10 million a piece. This is, this is exactly what they consult, did in the NFL just about consult, the concussions. Just to consult, Neil. Just a little consultant right. on, on your part. We give you each. Here's five of you. We're going to spend $50 million. We're the Olympic Committee. We can afford it. We'll just write it off. We're not paying any taxes anyway. We're going to give you $50, with the, $10 the, million the end, a piece. end game of what? Wait, wait. $50 million a piece to tell us where this is going. 
how far up we are and so what they're so not you want the you. chemists you they're, want the chemists. i want the people that, that the can scientists. make it jimmy no, i want the people it? that know more than i'm ever going to know about this neil to sit down and talk about all the lies that they know they destroyed now there's no more eastern bloc there's no more soviet union i understand but the deaths of all of these well, we people. have a surgeon general here in the united states i heard about yep. that what did they say about what you do sorry what, what do i do what oh, do you do? Oh, what do I do? He's, he's have a very my, bad my, habit. My I bad love you, Neil. Habit. Yeah. Okay. Listen, <laughs> if we don't have a Surgeon General, I found that out watching CNN, but <laughs> if there was a quote unquote Surgeon General of the world mm -hmm. that they would oversee sport, I, it'd be nice. They have an international thing of sport, but you know what? We it, all know this, Neil, guys. Neil, it's you a can business. Have it, but the bottom line is you must have prosecutorial powers right. to do something. The minute you know, we're going to, you're banned. That's it. We don't want to hear it. You, you can't mean, enter any more like a trial. Hit right. him in the we, give, we give you a trial. We're going to bring you in, but we're going to say this is the evidence we have. Now prove us wrong because there's three drug tests here. You flunked all three. Now tell us why we should allow you to continue while your little case is pending. Oh, you think a case is going to, no, no, no. Today, we stop this foolishness now. See, the one thing I was taught, Neil, by my parents, and, and, and they were very strict and disciplined. We know what's right and wrong. We've taught you what's right and wrong. Now, if you decide to step over this line, there will be a penalty to be paid. And these people don't worry about it, Neil. Today, they, Neil, you're Olympians right now. For everything good, there's a reward. For everything Think bad, there's, there's a, a consequence. There's a consequence. All right, take a deep breath. Ready? Everybody, slow down. We're going to take a deep breath. All right, it's a cleansing breath. Neil and I don't need one. We're happy. I'm this happy. is a cleansing I'm breath. Yoga. This it's, is good. This is good, right? You, you, you inhale deeply through your nose, filling up your lungs. Come on. Everybody, I like and then slowly lungs. exhale. Count of five. Pause, and then do it again. I want to do it again. I want to do it once. All right. So this timeout for cleansing breath.